First of all, I disagree with your advisor, but I think there's a better plan than even the one you have. We're going to Sarasota, Florida here, Big uh, Al. Okay, we let's, got, let's do it. We got Brad. He goes, hello, Joe, or hello, Al, Joe, and Andy. I uh, love your podcast. You guys are funny, informative, and always entertaining. I never miss an episode. My wife and I are both retired, 63 years old, and moved to Florida from Connecticut about three years ago. We love CT, but we're not missing the winters or the taxes. Right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, I'd be like, I'm not missing the winters. The winters suck. Um, cold. We drive a 2019 Ford Fusion Hybrid, uh, which we like very much. All right. And we are... And with all due respect to James Bond, I like my martinis very dry and always stirred, never shaken. Okay. All right. Got it. Look at Brad. He's a badass <laughs> from Sarasota with a hybrid dressed as James Bond. All right. I have a difference of opinion with our financial advisor at it relates to Roth conversions that I would like to get your perspective on. Our retirement assets include $1.7 million in traditional IRAs, $220,000 in a Roth, 81000 in HSA and about $900,000 in a brokerage account. Our investments are mostly balanced between stocks, bonds, index funds with cash reserves covering two to three living years of living expenses. Okay, very good. Brad, yes, very James Bond-like right. with that portfolio. Sure. It's very big and sexy. <laughs> uh, I collect a pension from my former employer of $62,000 a year. Uh, we are deferring our Social Security until age 70, which at that time we expect around $78,000 a year, plus a deferred fixed annuity will get us right at one hundred and fifty k for lifetime income. I want to draw down our traditional IRAs during our gap years to pay the taxes now at our currently historic low rates, maxing out the 22% tax bracket each year. Living in Florida, we pay no state income tax. This amounts to about $150,000 of traditional IRA distributions each year. Okay. All right. So he's 63, right? And then he yep. is bridging a gap until age 70. Right. So then at age 70, he doesn't need any more money from the portfolio, it sounds like, because he's going to have $150,000 fixed income. I'm just assuming that that's probably what he needs. Yeah. Well, either that or with his portfolio, but the 150 plus portfolio would be fine. Okay. Um, I'm allocating $50,000 of the $150,000 of IRA withdrawals to Roth conversions each year. Okay, My goal is to fund Roth while using the remaining IRA proceeds and the other savings to cover our living expenses. I plan to continue with annual $50,000 Roth conversions at least until the current tax rates expire in 2026. Our financial advisor strongly disagrees with my Roth conversion strategy. His reasoning is that since we are drawing down the IRA for our living expenses during our gap years, the Roth conversions provide little benefit. By the time we are required to take RMDs, the IRA will be depleted to the point that the RMD tax will be inconsequential. Inconsequential, yes. yes. Yeah. Without yeah. consequence. Yes. Yes. Yeah, those big words always get me. We feel it's better to leave the money in the IRA and allow it to grow tax deferred until it's needed. Okay. Okay. He feels it's better. The advisor does. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if that, I agree with our financial advisor on this. We're maxing out the 22% tax bracket with our IRA distributions anyway. And I see little harm in directing some of the money to the Roth. The Roth will give us financial flexibility and the opportunity to pass tax-free assets to our heirs. Appreciate if you could spitball this for me. Thanks. All right, Brad. AKA James Bond. <laughs> um, what do you think? Well, um, I first of all, I disagree with your advisor, but I think there's a better plan than even the one you have. I agree a thousand percent. Because you have $865,000 in a taxable brokerage account. Wouldn't it make more sense to live off of that for a while and do a $150,000 Roth conversion? You got money to pay the taxes. Now you end up with a lot more money in a Roth IRA and then retirement at age 70 is much better from a tax standpoint. Remember, you've got $150,000 of fixed income, which is already going to put you in the 22% bracket currently which will be 25 here by 2026. So any RMD that you have on top of that. If it's a dollar. 
it's going to cost you 25 percent and you're probably going to approach alternative minimum tax which will be more like 28 or even 35 percent because of that that stupid expense that gets phased out with increased income so you're actually going to be in a pretty high tax bracket. You want to get as much into the Roth as you can. Yep, I would agree with that a thousand percent. Because let's say you don't do anything, you you, you let the IRA defer. Okay, so it's one point seven million dollars. He's sixty three years old. In ten years, he's seventy three, where he has to take a, a, a his required distribution. So what do you think that's going to be worth? Like three million dollars, I'd say. It could be even worth more than that. Three and a half million dollars. Right. So his RMD at that point is going to be $120,000 on top of his $150,000 income. Well, now he's blown up. It's like, well, don't touch the RA until you absolutely need to. That's the advice a lot of advisors give. Because why do you think, and I'm not going to blow up this advisor because I'm sure he's a very good advisor and um, he's helping out Brad. But a lot of times advisors won't recommend this because if you do a Roth conversion, what happens to the portfolio? Yeah, it, it gets reduced. It gets reduced. And how, and how are advisors paid <laughs> on the amount of the portfolio? Correct. So if you're converting money into a Roth IRA and you're taking additional money out of the portfolio to pay the tax, you are going to be better off, but the advisor may not be better off because there's a lower balance. I'm not saying that he's thinking of this at by any stretch of the imagination. But it's true. It's like you look at it. It's like a little bit more work for the advisor. It's like, well, you know what? Why even bother? Just let it continue to defer. You know, it's going to be great. It'll be fine. And then you're 72 years old and all of a sudden you're going to get your butt kicked by a huge tax bill. <laughs> now, I, so I'm going to take so I'm going to take the advisor's side here just for a second. Okay. Just for fun. So so he's thinking that if $150,000 gets drained from this account over the next seven years, Let's call that a million dollars, right? And so they, you had 1.7, you've drained out a million. Now you got 700,000. Of course, it'll be higher because of growth, right? Assuming the market grows, right? So let's say you got a million, so or maybe a little more, but let's just say a million dollars. But even a million dollars, that's a, at a at a 4% RMD rate, which is roughly what it is in the first year. That's a $40,000 additional income that sits on top of your 150,000 that you already have, right? not to mention whatever kind of income you have from your brokerage account. So you're probably going to be in alternative minimum taxes with the old tax rates coming back. Uh, although you live in Florida, so maybe not, but anyway, it's, you're going to be, you're going to be 25 to 28%, potentially even 35%. Uh, and versus right now, you're 22, 22. That's I, I would do the conversions all day long. Uh, or, I mean, or blow them out and do the $50,000 conversion. Who cares? I mean, I don't, if you do $50,000 conversion over the next 10 years, that's a lot of money sitting in the Roth that will compound tax free forever. So why would that be a waste of time? Right? I mean, let me do some quick. So over <laughs> eight years, so let's say he does $50,000 over eight years. All right. And then let's say the market grows at 6%. Now he's got $524,000 sitting in the Roth IRA and he is going to be 70 years old. Right. right? On top of what he starts with, which is 200, which will grow also. Right. So let's call it $800,000 yeah. sitting in a Roth. Right. And, um, so let's say then that grows for another 25 years at 6%. Right. So that's a couple million dollars compounding 100% tax free. Right. No, that's not worth it. <laughs> Don't do it. It's, it's penis. Are you prepared for retirement? Schedule a free financial assessment with an experienced financial professional right online at purefinancial.com.